So I wanted to make a quick video to show you quite the extent that I go to in order to draw the user's attention to calls to action. I'm amazed at how many sites I come across that have very weak calls to action um, and that users are going to miss those because it's important to remember that people aren't giving you their full attention when they go to your website. You're very much reliant upon them um, uh, to be paying full attention if your, uh, if your um, calls to action are not prominent enough. So by creating an incredibly prominent call to action, you take into account that people are often distracted. So let's have a look at the ways that in this particular um, mock-up design, I've attempted to draw attention to our primary call to action of shop now. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that I use a contrasting color to make the call to action stand out from the surroundings. Nothing particularly clever there. But then there are also a whole load of visual indicators that draw your attention um, to that call to action. We do with the obvious things like putting it very central on the page and well above the fold, but there are other things going on here as well. For a start, we have a triangle pretty much being created with our copy, which points to the call to action. But that's not the only thing that's going on here as well. You also, if you look at the images below, we've got eye lines that, well, not quite eye lines because he's wearing a VR headset, but the, basically the guy is looking directly at our call to action. In fact, he's even pointing at our call to action as well. On top of that, we've got this woman in the picture next to it who has literally got a triangle on the back of her head that is pointing upwards towards our call to action. Finally, I've done another naughty little trick, which is used basic human biology. We're pre-programmed to look at faces and genitals and backsides. So the fact that this woman's backside is right next to our call to action probably doesn't do us any disfavours either. So all in all, there is a lot going on in this design that isn't immediately obvious that draws one's attention to the call to action. All the visual indicators on the page are pointing to that one central thing we want people to do. That's the kind of level of focus you want to have if you want to be sure that distracted users don't miss that vital call to action.